All right, Randy, so we pretty much have all the plumbing done. Next, we've got to start working on the boom and the yeah. sprayer. We've got the pump in place, our hose is cut with a little extra length to give it a chance to move, and uh, the valve assembly in place, so we're going to run a hose back to the boom. And uh, like I told, uh, you know, we talked earlier a little bit about the different styles of nozzles. You can get these, these uh, nozzle bodies where the uh, it's kind of like a little nut that holds the nozzle in place, and, uh -huh. uh, but I've opted to go back with something a little, uh, a, a little bit different than that. It's the same kind of setup. It kind of clamps on, but it, uh, as we said, it's got the diaphragm check valve to keep it from dripping. But the other thing that it has is when you put your nozzles on here, then it or orients your nozzle automatically for you, whereas opposed to these systems like this where you would have to actually physically turn the nozzle to get it in the correct... Get uh, it to run the right pattern. Yes, the red, uh, orientation that you wanted. So these are the ones we're going to put back in. we got to cut all the other no old nozzles off. I'm just going to take the four inch grinder and start uh, not going to deal with the rust, I guess. Cut them off. Get it out of the way. We're going to mark it. 20 inch spacing is kind of a standard for nozzles. That's what we're going to go back with. Uh, we've got a bunch of nozzle bodies. We've got one that's uh, kind of across to, to run our flow in. And uh, we have, uh, you know, the ends that go to the end. So right. uh, I think we have everything we need. Uh, <laughs> we hope. <laughs> but uh, we'll see as we start putting it together. All right, well, let's get started. Well, Clint, we're, we're wanting the 20 inch nozzle spacing we talked about. So we've got one nozzle in place here so we can hook onto the edge of that nozzle body or the, the bracket here. And now we'll just move and we'll mark every 20 inches and then we'll slide the edge of this to the edge and the edges line up. If the edges line up, the centers are lined up. And so we'll come along and we'll get all of these marked. Let us know where we need to put our nozzles. Pretty much in the same place they were when we took them off. Uh, for the most part, we've got a nice curved boom here. That's right. Maybe that's next year's project. After we get all our pasture sprayed this year's, we'll build some new booms. Always have something to work on. So we've got all those marked now. It's really easy. We come in, we put them all on, yeah. slide them in place, and then we're ready to cut hose. Okay. 